from Scarborough, Ontario, one of the greatest soccer players in this country's history and for a long time the leader of our national team. Please welcome Dwayne Di Rosario. First, I want to say, you know, thank you for all the support, all the love and the dedication to all the athletes and everyone who's paid contribution to my success. This is a great honor for not only myself, but for Scarborough, for my community, and the growth of development in soccer in this country. And I'm very humbled and honored to be here today to receive such a prestigious award. Thank you so much. Just to be acknowledged around such greats, but also for a community standpoint, come from Scarborough, come from Metro Housing, to work hard and pursue my dream, my passion in soccer, and to be now recognized for my efforts and my contribution to the growth of this sport across Canada and throughout my community is a, a tremendous honor. In Canada Sports Hall of Fame, not a lot of soccer players get inducted. So to be amongst a very few players and to join with a fellow colleague of mine, Craig Forrest, and other players that have provided great contributions to this sport in this country, to be with that elite few is, um, is a tremendous feeling. And hopefully um, there'll be a lot more to follow in, in, in that footsteps. And um, it's a great time. I think, you know, when we look at the growth of the sport in this country and Canada qualifying for the World Cup and, you know, receiving this award, Hopefully it's an opportunity where it's opening doors for other players to be inducted and also raising awareness to realize that we're more than just athletes. We have so much to offer and give back to our communities and you know I've started my Dear Foundation, we work with inner city kids and hopefully that could inspire the next generation to say hey you know what how can I inspire my community, how can I help grow the game and build this game across Canada and for me that's the most important reward is, is knowing that I could create a legacy where players see themselves more than just players, they can see themselves as global ambassadors across Canada to help grow this sport. The reason why I'm sitting here having this conversation is due to the strengths of a young man who, just like myself, has dreams and aspirations to help grow the game. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on the strength of him and his father really, you know, putting my name to the forefront into the induction committee to, to create a great cause and a great case of why I should be inducted. I was part of a great team that was able to induct Mr. Di Rosario into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. I met him a while ago, quite a few years ago, just as a fan. So now today, the fact that I'm here and I know him and I'd like to consider him a friend, it's just truly incredible. It's a privilege to be able to do that. Originally, I just Googled him and found out that he actually wasn't in the Sports Hall of Fame and that very few soccer players were. And I remember scrolling through the list and I didn't really see that many people that I even recognized. And the fact that the greatest Canadian soccer player wasn't, I just felt that even if I could do something small to help correct that mistake, uh, I would do everything I could. So then researched a bit of the initiation process and I talked to my dad who helped me a lot. It's great to see someone that has looked up to you is now the reason why I'm inducted in, into the hall. And um, he's an inspiration for me, I'm an inspiration for him. And just to know that, you know, such a, a, a young kid could create so much memories and this great moment for myself, my family, my community, is truly a blessing and I'm very grateful for him and his father and their contributions.